So the first question is, for first-time pancreatic head mass causing a biliary stricture, do you start with a fully covered stent or can you go straight to an uncovered stent? Um, I think this is a very important question. Um, I think one of the key things that you need to um, make sure that you're aware of here is really the diagnosis. So what you don't want to do is place an uncovered stent in an undiagnosed uh, stricture. Um, so you want to make sure that you're dealing with malignant disease before you place an uncovered stent because this is going to be a permanent stent. Um, and you don't know if this stricture is due to autoimmune pancreatitis that may mimic a pancreatic malignancy um, or some other uh, etiology. So I definitely would not use an uncovered metal stent unless I have a clear diagnosis of um, uh, malignancy. With regards to a fully covered metal stent, um, if, you, if you have a diagnosis, that would be an on-label use uh, for viable. So you can proceed with placing a fully covered metal stent. Um, otherwise, the, the, the safe option would be to uh, place a plastic stent and await a diagnosis. Um, and one of the things that factors into this is on-site pathology. So if you're able to have a, a definitive diagnosis on the spot, then you can make the appropriate stent selection. Um, I don't know if doctors uh, Patea or Tosani have anything uh, to add to this. I, I think the one thing is in, in terms of choosing the uncovered versus the covered metal stent, you know, I, I think as at least personally, as my practice has uh, evolved, I, I, I don't ever, I, I mean, there, I, I can't remember the last time I've actually chosen an uncovered metal stent. You know, I, I, I just, I, I like the patency rates better of, of the covered stents. And, you know, I, I think the data has, has shown that, that it doesn't decrease the risk of cholecystitis. So in, in terms of, um, in, in terms of what's, if you're going to place a plastic versus a covered stent first, I, I, um, you know, with, with, with our, um, with our high rates of diagnostic yields, I, I mean, e even without onsite, um, cytology, you know, our, our, you know, the diagnostic yields with all the new needles and, and better ultrasound, it's well over 90%. Um, I, I usually don't place plastic stents. Um, if I, if I do believe that, that there's a, that, that it's a malignant stricture, I, I, I go straight to a covered metal stent. And I believe that the NCCN guidelines have, have actually, um, have called out now for, for placement of, uh, covered metal stents in, in, uh, pancreatic cancer. Uh, 